OK, you're on Google Sheets and you want to apply conditional formatting based on a value in another cell. Now, my first example, I want to format any brands that are equal to the brand up here in C2. So my first step would be to click into the first brand, then go to the format menu, then down to conditional formatting. And over here, I need to specify the range that I want to apply this conditional formatting to. Now you can see that the last cell that I'm using is A45. So I could put colon A45 in there. Or if I wanted to apply the conditional formatting to all of the cells in column A, I could just leave an A after the colon. But I'm going to say down to A45. Now the rule type that we need is custom formula is. And then what you need to do is click into this box that reads value or formula. And then you type an equals into that box. Now in the first instance, I'm comparing the value in A5, A5, which is where I have my first brand. And I'm gonna say, is that brand equal to the value in C2? So I type C2. Now what's gonna happen is this formula will effectively get copied down this entire range that I've specified here. So as it gets copied down, these row numbers will change. So when it gets down to A6, the formula will read A6 equals C3. Now we do want A5 to change to A6 when it's copied down, but we want C2 to remain as C2. So what I need to do is lock that row reference, so the two stays as a two. And to do that, I just put a dollar in front of it. So you can see now that it started to format the brand names that equal the brand name in C2. Now to change the format, if you're not happy with that format, you can use these settings down here. To change the background color, you'd use this button. So I'll change it to red. And the font color, you'd use this button. So I'll choose white and then I'll click done. Now the great thing about how I've set this up is if I change the brand up in C2, it changes the cells that get highlighted in column A. So that's my first example. Now the second example is going to base the conditional formatting on numeric values rather than text values. So I want any sales values that have met the sales target, which I'm storing here in J4, to be formatted with a green background. What I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to select all of the sales that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. Then I go up to the Format menu, Conditional Formatting, and my range is already specified because I selected the cells. We need to change the rule type to custom formula is, and then again, we click in this box that reads value or formula. Type in equals, and we're gonna say, is the first cell that we selected, so that's F5, greater than or equal to the value in J4? And again, what I need to do, because this formula will get copied down the other cells that I've selected, is I need to lock the reference to J4 the numeric component of that cell reference. So I'll put a dollar in front of the four. And you can see it's highlighted any of the values that are greater than the sales target. And again, I could change the format if I wanted a different green, and maybe change the font color. And I'll click on done. If I change the sales target to 80,000, it would update the conditional formatting that is applied to column F. Now in this example, I want to format these actual values based on the variance column. So if there's an overspend, I want these actual values to appear with a red background. And I can tell if there's an overspend because the variance will be a negative figure. So I'm gonna select all of these actual values, and then I'm gonna to go to Format, Conditional Formatting. My range is already selected, and my rule type needs to be custom formula is. I'm going to click into this value or formula box, type my equals sign. And with this rule, I'm saying, is this variance figure less than zero? So is 
p5 less than zero. So you can see it's already formatted those actual values that represent an overspend. I can change the color and the font color and then click on done. Now, if you wanted to highlight the whole row rather than just the cells in column O, this is what you do. So I'm gonna go back into my conditional formatting and I'm gonna change this range to include columns L, M and N. So to do that, I just need to change that first O to an L. Now for this to work, I need each of these columns to base the conditional formatting on column P. Now to ensure that, I need to lock the P on the P5 reference. So I put a dollar in front of the P. So now each of these cells in each of these rows is basing its conditional formatting rule on the value in column P. I click on done. And there we have the whole row highlighted. Now what I could have done is included column P in the conditional formatting. To do that, all I need to do is change that O to a P. Click on done and the whole row is now formatted. In this last example, I want to format values that have met the sales target within each of these years. So what I'm gonna do is select all of those cells now I could just click on add another rule over here, but if you don't have that task pane open, you need to go to format, conditional formatting. So my range is already specified up here. My rule is custom formula is, and again, I click in this box where it says value or formula. Now I'm writing the rule for the active cell. That's the first cell that I selected. So I'm gonna say equals S5, is greater than or equal to the value in S15. So S15 is where I'm storing the target for that particular year. Now in this example, I need to lock the 15 because I'm comparing all of these values with the value stored in row 15. So all I do is I put a dollar in front of that 15. So I could change the format, the font color, and click on done. So there we are, we can clearly see which values have met each of these targets. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.